set up rolling, so we can call him right in right here. We made a trip to Western Colorado and we didn't have the trip we wanted. So here we are in Southeast Colorado. It's the early February and we're gonna see how much damage we can do in a few days. Den, Colorado morning, boom baby, got one to come. Oh, he's a pretty dog too. Way to go partner, nice job. Hey, one in the truck, we're gonna do it right here. Colorado coyote in the truck, brother. First Dan, we can talk about it or we'll go do it. Next stand, we're just sitting there, and it's a beautiful stand. You can see forever, and man, I start calling. I'm slow jacking. Coyotes are going by. You can see him cutting about five or 600 yards. I'm gonna hit pump three. She's coming right. Oh, she smelled us. She's going away. There's another one in the bottom. I'm going to shoot him. Did we really just let one get away? We just called in a pair. You know, smelled us and took off, and we gotta go look for this coyote. We'll let you know how we do. How many minutes did we just spend? 30 minutes, 45 minutes looking for him? Looking for him. This garbage. This is what they found. <laughs> 300 yards. And uh, is that what we want? Absolutely not. But it happens. We called them in, they smelled us. I shot the one in the bottom and I shot him as he's running away. We got nothing. We got hair. Got nothing. Hair and blood. So we got a storm blowing in. This is to be continued here in a minute. So stay with us, we're in Colorado. We'll try to get more of them on the next one. Fox Pro Fur Takers is brought to you by Fox Pro High Performance Game Calls. 
Cabela's, the world's foremost outfitter. EOTech, transform your arsenal. Cryptech, battlefield to backcountry. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. And by Ruger, rugged, reliable firearms. So we got this weather system moves in on us, kind of shuts us down for a couple hours. A little too foggy. We just, we killed one. Way to go, partner. Nice job. Hey, one in the truck. We just hit one, we didn't get found. And this fog rolled in, it's windy, raining, and we can't see 50 yards. So we're gonna come eat some lunch. Stay with us after after we get something to eat and this clears out of here, we're gonna get back to hunting, but. We got this weather system moves in on us, kind of shuts us down for a couple hours. And then we see it lift a little. We can see about 200, 300 yards. So I said, let's go call. I love our CS24 over here. Man, up off the ground. Get them off the ground. And this fog and stuff, get it off the ground, just a couple, three feet. And that sound's gonna penetrate, get through this moisture in the air. Slow track. I start my sequence, a little slow jack, a little female yodel, a little male, do some female submissive, and I look out here and here comes this coyote. Coyote, coyote guard, straight out. Closer. We'll never know now. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> so we're back to Colorado and we're killing big male coyotes. It probably a lone male. I didn't know we didn't see the female. He could have been paired up. Hit a little low and a little back, but still tatered him at that distance. You should it's a really small target. You're talking six eight inches by six eight inches. That is a great shot, man. Thanks. And we're back at it. Fur takers right here in Colorado. Boom, baby. Nice job, Garf. More fur in the truck. I really miss him. Yep. Doggone it. It's Mr. Gray Fox. Dang it. Well, that first shot, didn't I hit him? Well, look at it. We're gonna go see. I don't know whether I hit him on the first shot, but I just kept shooting and he ran out. We got a little drop of blood here. Look at you right there. Oh, there he is. Good job. We got him. Ha! Way to go, Al. Wow. Gray Fox in Colorado. Ha! Look at that pretty chested gray. Magnificent animals. Look at the tail. That dark line. The top of the tail. 
Predator hunting in Colorado. We got us a gray fox down. We made uh, lemonade out of lemons today. We really did. It was a good day. We ain't done. Get warm. We're gonna get warm <laughs> and we're gonna go do it again. So stay with us right here. Colorado, boom, baby, boom. Nice That's job. Good. I can't believe we found him. <laughs> that is awesome. Time now for Fox Pro's Fur Tactics. I've hunted coyotes for 30 plus years now, and if you don't go afield with a good set of bog pods, you're crazy. The Fox Pro is going to make you good, but the bog pod's going to make you great. It's because you're going to be so stable when you shoot. On this Fox Pro Fur Taker television show, you've seen me make some incredible shots, and I promise you, the bulk of them were made using a set of bog pods. Bog pods give me the stability and the confidence to make those shots unlike I've ever had in my life. So if you call yourself a serious predator hunter, you better get some serious sticks. And bog pod is serious, and that's what a serious predator hunter needs, is stability, confidence in your accuracy, and a rifle that'll get her done. So I know with my Ruger shooting that Hornady ammo on top of a bog pod, I'm gonna be more successful. I can't believe we found him. <laughs> that is awesome. We're back here in Southeast Colorado and it's early February. We went up to a stand that's one of my favorite, and as we're walking in, I can see a few elk down in the bottom. We start calling, and, and they start moving up the hill away from us, and there's more elk and more elk. I, I've been there 15, 18 minutes, and no coyotes have showed up. And you'd think around that elk herd, there'd be some coyotes. And I put on elk calf distress, and I started distressing with my diaphragm. And that whole herd, 150 some animals roll up there, 27 bulls. Boy, they brought them right into my feet. Actually, I bet it wasn't 15 yards. If you have a late season cow tag, you might want to try some elk calf distress on one of your hand calls. Unless it's legal to use electronics up there in Wyoming and Oregon, you can use the electronic call. You can use that Fox Pro with the elk calf distress. We're going up to this big opening, big park. They'd had a recent burn two years ago. It burned some of that country up. In a beautiful spot you could see forever, and I was kind of sitting to the right. I thought they'd come from the right. Here we go. We're gonna go back to Little Slow Jack. I look out across the field and here comes a coyote. And behind him is his pair. Oh, here he comes. Here, I'm gonna switch to bull schools. Oh, here he comes. They're circling to get the win. There's just no doubt they're gonna get the win before they get close to it. Oh, he smelled us. Got him. Shoot him, Garth. I tried to help that gun a little bit, and that was a mistake. I got him. I'll hit him right. I can't believe that. Wow. I just made the most incredible running shot I've ever made. 
Did you get him? Oh yeah. <laughs> Which bush was he by? So they see these two close ones and then yeah. the two far ones? They were closer than the far ones. They were this side of those far bushes. 240. So they were probably around 220. So if you held over, I held over. Boom! I thought he was closer to 350, so I held about two inches high and shot over him. Hold on, hair. 437 yards, I think, is what guard finally uh, distanced it off. One of the luckiest shots I've ever made. You can only see our misses and our great shots in the same stand. I'll take the miss. Right on the outdoor channel. Boo, y'all. I got him. I just made the most incredible running shot I've ever made. Boo, y'all. First stand this morning. We got three or four stands. We got to get cameramen back to airports and stuff. And I said, let's go make this stand by the tower. So we go by the tower. Man, I'm calling. All of a sudden, Lance goes, there's one out there. I don't think I better vocalize. It looks like a smaller coyote. I'm gonna try building squirrel. I'm gonna try fall squeeze. Oh, here he comes. Little female. That coyote might have come to the speaker, but why? <laughs> Did you I range her? I couldn't wait anymore. Yeah, 127. Yeah. 127 yards. You figure if you can't put it on the X, there's no sense being here, is there? We could be done, but we're not. Let's go do it again. Let's try one more. All right, come on. Fur takers in Colorado. Spinning. Boy, that coyote came from a long way. Look how pretty she is. White. Really white. That's the high dollar coyote right there. What a tremendous trip. Colorado's been good to us. I promise you, if you want to kill coyotes, come to Colorado. You can go to Grand Junction. You can come out here to Trinidad, Walsenburg, anywhere in the state of Colorado is loaded with coyotes. Get off the couch, get out here and do this. Fur takers in Colorado. There we go. Hold them high, brother. 
Got it forever. Fur takers in Colorado, you can't do this on the couch. Get off the couch, come out here and do this one time. Boom, baby. Colorado, we're out.